How's it going, YouTube? It's Smooth Bass Man with a uh, quick video here on how to use a macro power keyboard to speed up your workflow in Pro Tools. This is a Logitech G510. Uh, Logitech has a quite a few options for macro enabled keyboards. There's other vendors as well. It doesn't matter what vendor you have, but this particular keyboard has 18 assignable keys over here on the side that you can pick any program or any function or any sequence of buttons to program to each one of these G keys and it actually has three memory slots as well so I love this keyboard because uh, in M2 I have this set up for my Pro Tools and I have all different I've gotten used to it but I got like start stop here I got you know stuff everywhere record button here so even though you do have your keyboard focus control that you can do over here as well sometimes there's combination keys that that you'd like to have on one key you can program those as well and I have those programmed here for Pro Tools and that's just my red function and then for the green I have these top 12 keys here just open ready to be assigned to anything and then this set down here is, is for another program that I use um, so while I'm working through Pro Tools and I have a, a repeatable function that I need to do, I can quickly record that macro and then assign it to a key and then replicate that very, very quickly. This is going to help speed up your flow a lot better. So in this particular track, as you heard, I just don't like the kick drum, so I'm going to replace that. Um, you could use Drumagog. That is the one of the top programs to do this. Um, but I'm going to use BFD Eco. I'm going to show you how to use this powerful keyboard to help speed up your workflow. And you can get one of these type of keyboards for like 50 bucks. Drumagog is like 400 bucks for the entire program. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is set up your instrument track, get all that done, get your sound that you like already programmed in there. And we're going to just record a kick drum, just one kick. And that's all you need to get started with this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we'll just hit record. Sunlight. All right. So that's all we need is just one kick. Because now we're going to. And I just changed that to maximum velocity, guys. Nothing special there. But so now we're going to trim this up. We want to get this as close as we can to the start. And the end of this, because we're going to be using this over and over again. And guys, I know you're saying that, you know, why don't you put this in grid mode? Go a lot faster. Well, this was a live recording. It doesn't have a tempo on it. And uh, just a lot easier to do it this way. If I was to find the tempo and lock it to the grid, then it would be very, very quick. But the guys didn't really stay on time that well, so... Uh, but that's a whole nother issue. So now I got this trimmed up the way I want. And so now we'll move this over here to the start of this particular kick drum sound. So they kind of line up there. So Alt Scroll Wheel, if you know quick keys, you can get you lined up pretty quick. That looks good. That looks good. All right, so now let's pull in the power of this macro enable keyboard. If you know your quick keys, I'm going to just do copy this particular sample here that's triggered in BFD Eco and then have your tab to transients option turned on. If you click in your audio track and hit tab, it'll go to the next transient kick. If you hit semicolon, you go down to the next track below it, you hit V. It'll paste in that kick sound. Then P takes you right back up to the track above. Lots of keystrokes there. But we're going to make this so simple. We're going to hit, make sure I'm in the green function, hit record macro. I'm going to put this on G3. And now this keyboard is ready. It's actually recording all the keystrokes that I put in. So if we hit tab, 
semicolon v p and mr it just recorded all of those keystrokes for me so now if i want to put in another kick on the next transient i just hit this quick key here boom come over here just that quick and easy and I'm getting these pretty close to the transients guys just so speed up the process but you don't have to do that I can zoom out here and just hit this key over and over and over again and every transient it'll actually perform all those functions in one shot and so now I have replaced the kick drum across the entire track. Sunlights up the daytime, moonlights up the night. It's just that simple. So let's take a quick listen to these. Gotta play that. That's the new kick drum. Compared to the old. And instead of using Drumagog, just use a tab to transient, a macro enable keyboard, and you did quick work of replacing a kick drum with uh, one of your internal samples. Now the last piece you need to do after you get this, and it's going to take you a little bit more time, is go in and change the velocities of each one of these as a group. You can do them all as a group or you can do individual ones to kind of match up with how the real drummer actually played. So that's it in a nutshell how to use a macro enable keyboard to speed up your workflow in Pro Tool.